In this video, you're going to go and open up some images in Photo Mechanic, add some color labels and some star ratings, and then transfer those over to Lightroom. First, we need to check Photo Mechanic's preferences to make sure it's compatible with Lightroom's. So let's go to the Edit menu, choose Preferences from the bottom. On the general page, we want to make sure that we're using Adobe Lightroom's color label scheme. So if you go to the snapshot menu on the right hand side, you can see now that we have a predetermined configuration for Adobe Lightroom. Just go ahead and click on that. The contact sheet page should be good. The files preference page, you're going to want to make sure that this box is checked down here at the bottom to always update the XMP label when changing the color class. On our launching preference page, I've assigned the default application to be Lightroom. You would do that by just clicking the square button on the field and then locating the Lightroom application. That'll be inside of your C drive, inside of program files, inside of Adobe, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, and then you would just locate the actual Lightroom icon, double click it, and then you'll see the Lightroom.exe in the field. For the IPTC slash XMP preference page, we also have a built-in for Adobe products. Just go ahead and click on that, and it'll now be configured for Adobe applications. The caching folder, this doesn't have anything to do with Lightroom, but it's nice to go ahead and increase the memory cache size up from the standard 256 up to about 600 megabytes. Okay, let's go ahead and apply these changes and okay the preference settings. Now we can go ahead and open up some images here. These are some ORF files. They're TIFF-based RAW files. And we'll just go through and add color label 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we'll put on one star here. Two stars there. Three here. Four. And then five stars. So we'll select all these images. Now, if you normally just use the Edit Photos option, it typically is only going to move the first image as selected for importing into Lightroom. So this is how you get all of your selected images in Photo Mechanic to open up inside of Lightroom for importing. Select them on the contact sheet, then click and hold on any selected image for at least a second. Then when you move it, you'll see the little plus be added to the mouse pointer. Drag that over to Lightroom's icon in the taskbar. Wait for Lightroom to open up and move to the front. And then just drag your mouse to the workspace area. Let go. And then it's going to have all those images checked for importing inside of your Lightroom import module. Now you want to make sure you use the add option, not the copy option. That way their photo mechanic and Lightroom will be working on the same set of files. And if we can go to Lightroom's edit menu, which it doesn't want me to do, so let's go to the edit menu. We're going to go to catalog settings, and we want to click on the metadata tab, and we want to make sure that this box is checked because it's not checked by default to automatically write changes into the XMP. Go ahead and OK those preference changes. Now let's go back to Photo Mechanic and we'll import these files again. Okay, we'll click the Import button down here at the bottom. And now we see that we have the same files here with the different color labels and the different star ratings. And we can actually change a color label in Lightroom. Say the one with five stars that's red. We'll just go ahead and change that to purple. Okay. And now if we go back to Photo Mechanic, we should now see the one with the five stars is already changed to purple. It's no longer red. So that's how the updates happen in Lightroom are instantly recognized inside of Photo Mechanic as long as you have the correct preference settings for both applications. That's essentially how you send images from Photo Mechanic to Lightroom and have the star ratings and the color labels recognized.